Hey, it's Kyle Sports Rap with special guest me. And uh, <laughs> what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the big fight coming up this week and the big MMA fight, right? That's right. Yeah, we've got your boy, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. And he, he was originally slated to fight uh, Junior Dos Anjos, but then he got hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, Junior, he I guess he broke his foot or something. Yep. Um, so then they're bringing in the Diaz boy, uh, Nate Diaz. And he's not as good? He's, well... As the guy he was originally going to fight? <laughs> he's, uh, he's not as well-rounded, I think. Okay. But he's, um, styles make fights. And if you're putting, like, Dos Anjos against Conor McGregor, um, I think he was going to give him a harder time than, than Diaz will. Because Diaz is pretty much mostly a boxer. Right. But he's also a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt. So if he's able to get him to the ground, he might do something. But... I think Connor's just so good at defending the takedowns. I don't know if he's ever been taken down. Like in, in regular boxing, there's always reach and right. height and weight. Yeah. With MMA, where does where does some of that stuff fall into place as far as reach and different things? Well, I mean, reach reach can make a difference, but the thing is, McGregor he's he's bigger than he looks on TV. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's difficult to tell with you know with the octagon the way it is, but depending on where their shoulders are to the top of the cage, is how you can tell how tall they are. Um, Diaz is tall and lanky, whereas Connor's a little bit a little bit smaller and a little less lanky, a little more bulked up. Mm -hmm. Um, difference is Diaz is really good with his hands and he's really good on the ground but Connor's really good with his legs and so the so Diaz's reach isn't going to make as much of a difference because connor has got the legs which then makes up for that difference in reach. Well, let's recap the last fight that Conor McGregor fought that was back in December. I don't know if we have it? time. And the recap is this. <laughs> that was it. Done. It was done. It was one Four punch. Seconds. Step to the side, left hook, down. So let me ask down. you this when it comes to Diaz and McGregor Advantages, disadvantages, what do you think? I think Diaz has somewhat of an advantage just with the reach, really. His boxing is better, but McGregor's kickboxing is better. Uh, McGregor's a better wrestler. Diaz is a better jiu-jitsu guy. So McGregor's very good at playing mind games, okay. and Diaz is a hothead. So McGregor, I think he's already burrowing himself into Diaz's mm -hmm. mind. And it's not that it's going to make them fight... Uh, it's, it's going to throw them off of their fight because they know what they're doing. It's muscle memory. Mm -hmm. But I think it's more of he's going to make him angry, so he's going to fight with emotion. He's fighting from here instead of from here. Right. And McGregor's all here. I think McGregor's going to take it. I like <laughs> McGregor's preparation. I like his, what, what do you want to call it, his kata, whatever he does in the beginning. You know, he's doing all this stuff. and it's everything. showy, yeah. Yeah, it's like very, yeah. it's very mesmerizing to watch. We, my wife and I liked him the first time we saw him, and... Mm -hmm. Just liked him. Was yeah. a, your prediction is Conor McGregor? McGregor over Diaz. I'm going to guess yep. first round, I think they're going to feel it out. Mid to late second round, uh, TKO McGregor. That's my guess. I'm going to go with first round, late in the first round for yeah. Conor McGregor. For Conor McGregor. All right. Get him, Conor. <laughs> And, right. then, and then the other fight is, is Holly Holm versus Misha Tate real quick. Mm -hmm. um, Holly Holm, uh, as we know, is the one who beat Ronda Rousey. Right. First one to beat Ronda Rousey. Mm -hmm. um, she is a straight-up boxer uh, with a wrestling background. Mm -hmm. With her, she has kicks. Like, most of her fights, she's ended with kicks. Yeah. Like a, a, It's a left head kick because she's an unorthodox uh, fighter. She's, right. She fights southpaw. Uh, Misha, I think, is an orthodox fighter. She's... Not as tall and long as Holly. Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure Holly's going to take her out pretty quick. That's my guess. So I, I can't tell you who's going to win this fight because I've never seen either one of these fights. I didn't mm -hmm. see uh, her fight. Her Holly fight. and Ronda. Right. So your prediction though, on that fight, who do you think is going to win? Probably Holly Holm. I think it'll be a little bit of a, a fight for her because Misha did give Ronda a hard time. But again, mm -hmm. Styles make fights. Uh, Holly's bigger, longer, and stronger than Misha. And uh, she's got a mean uh, straight left because she's, again, she's, an, uh, she's, she's a southpaw fighter. So right. she's, all she has to do is put her foot to the outside of Misha. If Misha tries to charge in, which would be a bad choice for her, uh, which is what Ronda did. She tries to charge in. Holly just steps her foot a little bit to the outside, steps back, throws that straight left, throws a left kick. So, so, yeah, I'm not thinking TKO. I'm thinking straight up knockout. Uh, Watch for our follow-up video. And we'll find out for later.